So let's continue and make it just simple now. So what I want to do is to run over the content of the result set and run over the content of the given columns object you have very nice get object call what is your problem okay I don't care about exceptions here so I just That's for fun. Uh, if, if I don't give call names, then I want to get column count. So that is, if I don't give any column names, that I will receive all the columns printed out. I'm happy with that. So in the JDBC connector, I will say that um, that's JDBC utils dump result set catalogs. And the same way, dump result set. Uh, I don't like this. So I just say result. 
so RS RS and then okay let's go So I load JDBC test, send the data message, and I have problems. Ooh. I'm afraid the get column names part is in the first column is one of course yeah sure okay no 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 because the array index should be nice but Okay, this is how it goes. Go. Why do I have a breakpoint at some exceptions? Just exception, I don't want to catch it for now. I just go. Okay, uh, clear. And do it again. So what do we have here? I have catalogs and no schema. What? You say that... How can I close this? You say that the Catalog is the succular and the schema is not. What was what? Hmm. Okay, anyway, so you say that the catalog will be circular and how about that? Oh, yeah, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice because it says the table catalog is a null. The table schema is circular. The table name is address. The table type is table. But when I do the filter, I have to set the filter to the catalog and not the schema. Thank you, MySQL. Good to know this information, but at this point I'm perfect because I have the tables that I need. Actor, address. Okay, for fun, just check if if I add the view here, I will see the other guys. All the guys, hopefully. Oh, even better. Let's see. So I have the actor. Actor info. Nice. Address table. Category table. City. Country. Customer. 
customer list is a view. Okay. Film, film actor, film category, film text, or table, inventory, language. Nicer but slower film list view. Okay. Payment rental tables. Sales by film, sales by store, staff. Stuff is a table, store is a table, and staff list is a view. Okay, so now I have all the data that I need. And now I will switch. Just keep it here, but I only need the tables for the next step. So, <clears throat> because so far uh, this was just fun, but now I was able to find the tables that I need. Check it again. These are my tables. Actually, these are types. 
of which I have instances inside the database. And what I want to do is to create types, type instances. In order to do that, I would like to have a type created inside of this thing. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I should just uh, set up uh, this connector a bit. I'm going to say that the JDBC connector should have some attributes. And accessing these attributes will be interesting right now. Um, I want to say that it's just like this. So this is my JDBC connector and I now want to set parameters here. Um, do I have a user already? No. I think I have it somewhere, somewhere, there must be, why not look it up, <clears throat> in there, I don't know, but anyway, Persistence. Yeah, this access control bar. I don't really want to. No, 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 I don't want to do that. Cognition terms. No, it's not prepared to set up, so I don't, I don't do that. But probably the user type would be, would be a nice touch. Hmm. Okay. And the net. No, 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 no. Don't, don't overcombine it. There, there is one thing I really. Uh, what I think about now is where to put these uh, parameters here. I have this URL and driver, user and password. Uh, of course, user and passwords uh, belongs to one type. No, quick and dirty first. Okay, so in that case, what I need is a new attribute definition called user. Let's say user ID. Uh, it should belong to the JDBC connector. So uh, into the attach user ID. Let's copy it, make it password. Copy it to DB URL. And copy it to what's the last one? JDBC driver. JDBC driver class. And 
this type, damn it. No. Octave identifier. <coughs> I should have said that. So the end of type is with identifier. The DB or also identifier, the password is also identifier, and the user ID is also identifier. Very nice. And now, as I see, the JDBC connector is extended by these attributes so I can just copy the JDBC driver to JDBC driver plus the URL to DB URL user and the password and the question can I save it now commit it just accepted it so let's try it run it again and see At the JBDC test, yeah, I have a properly configured <coughs> JBDC connector. The question is, how will I access this attribute? Um, I would need uh, to access the field definitions of this type. What? What was that? Data command, sorry. Command. Get. What I want here is I want to list all the attributes of the type of my type, this entity's type. Where can I see this? Uh, it must be somewhere in the user interface, but I'm afraid I will not Will not find it immediately. Panel entity. Render a panel because that's quite a complicated thing. I 
not deaf. I need something like this. So first of all, I am looking for self and just let know that's uh, dust data links and the primary type. Probably this will be Wow, so my type is the JDBC connector. Mmm, like it. And it says that I have several attribute definitions. So I should then iterate dust ref. Um, is that a path? Oh, <laughs> I like it. So what I need here is that uh, the type of devs dust meta links type of death. and I want this to be a dust ref for sure um that's the R at you don't do this. What happened here? Absolute methods, cost tag, and submit. Come on. Continue. Okay, I'm happy. But let's see if now, okay. So if I send the message again, probably I will receive the DR ads, which are JDBC. This is not what I want. The 
just another container and that's something I don't really like. No, I want to keep that. Can that's my JDBC connector type. Uh, what I'm, I'm trying to achieve is to read all the content of these configuration parameters uh, from the entity instance uh, instead of uh, reading it from code. And to do this, I have to access uh, the actual attribute definitions. Of uh, of those fields, which is just process. That's it, process reps. Um, I will have to restart it because now I changed the class definition, but anyway, the source is my type. The link def is um, just meta links type of steps target is null any target is okay for me just entity just meta links oh yes uh, that's um, Resolve what resolve what does I think and at this point get Let's just 
for this. Very nice. And map at put test access entity data command. Oh, I think there's something just here to forget. Anyway, data command get value. The entity is at that. The key is mm, branches of um, Do I get the identifier? Kernel components should contain com prots data. But it's not, not what I want. Tools generic generic ops. That's how I go. Identified local. And the value is e at def. And then I can refer to their names. Um, for now, let's say that the um, should be first access entity date command get value the entity is context ref self the key is uh, map ads get. How did I name it? That's JDBC driver class. <laughs> so funny that I selected the last name. JDBC driver class is the attribute name and that's it no no um the test utils access entity function is much more pleasant because i don't have to do this yep that's it I guess you can't, but anyway, we'll see. Put a breakpoint here also, and a breakpoint here too. 
And now send the message again. Let's see if it can work. Wow, that's a surprise. Let's go. I have an attribute definition here, which is the JDBC driver class. Theoretically, it put in there. So when I finish this loop, the map at have it. So I was able to get the name. Perfect. I love it so much because I just let go here. Have fun. But from this point in time, I can use this. And it's so ugly. How about saying that I'm actually not interested in the attributes themselves, but their values. So what I do here is get value, but okay, the put part is okay, but what I put there is not the attribute definition, but the actual value. So this thing. And in this case, the actual driver name should look like this. And of course, a cast. How about this? Send it again. Let it go. And the map adds is <laughs> now the actual values. I love it. Because in this way, it's really possible to write something like this. And now I'm removing the dependency from the source code. And I have made it configurable user ID password DB URL. Damn it, you don't delete something before. So you do this. This is the B U R L. This is Sir ID 
and this is pass word. Yup. Theoretically, I have this. Now I understand that it works fine. The question will come if the rest works. So I have the map ads. Hopefully it contains all the information. So now I'm doing the same thing. That's the question if this connect works fine or not. But when I started from debug, it takes for ages, but the connection is successful. Very nice. So right now I am able to configure my actual code by setting the parameters uh, in the JTBC connector instance uh, instead of uh, anything else. So if I, for example, mess with the password, it should fail. And it does. Now I fix it. Send it again. And it's successful. The important part here is that I want to create new types for new instances for uh, the tables inside this database. And in order to do this, I wanted to create a new type called JDBC table So I want to create a new type This will be JDBC table. The JDBC table, sorry, will require JDBC table will be connected. and require the type type. So whenever you create a JDBC table, it will become a table a type at the same time. And of course, it will require the identified too. And I think it will also be connected. Very nice. And what I want is that this type will be connected to the JDBC connector type as a new link def. Let's see a link def. It is like this thing. It is like this thing. So this is a link def. I
create a new link definition. I'll just put it away now, I don't need it. This link definition will be the uh, table type. It will be a single link of type single, no reverse. Primary item type. Thus, that should be the JDBC table. Where are you, my dear? JDBC table. This will be the primary type of this link definition. And this will be in the JDBC connector type and this JDBC connector no not the link dev where are you the JDBC table will be the table type of my JDBC connector and the JDBC table type should be stored okay so it is persistent and store with the JDBC connector. Ding. Now that's a question if it works or not. I want to commit. It worked. Question if the commit ID commit ID is not updated. I'm a bit afraid. Let's see the the containing unit. This is the JDBC test and I have unit entities here. Attribute definitions JDBC connector table type service type. It's not stored unfortunately but that's just a bug and I can fix by this and uh, say that just spoil it and commit again and now I have my JDBC table type also stored let's try Exit, start it again. Load the JDBC test. The JDBC connector has the JDBC table type. Very nice. And if I send the message, It works like before. So it's time to have a lunch and the next part should be creating entities for the types. Yeah, that's how we will work.